day three of the Australian PGA, we decided to do something totally different. We've gotten onto the Lakelands, beautiful golf course, which is highly rated down here on the Gold Coast. It's going to be an 18 hole vlog, single stroke. Christine's on camera. Um, Hi there. Yeah, enjoy it. We'll try and put in a few. If we can find some other drone footage online, I can cut and paste, put in there to show you about it. Otherwise, we'll just show you a straight, easy single stroke vlog. Alrighty guys, so here we go, first hole par 4. I'm actually playing off the blues, just a bit of a challenge for myself, so I'm hitting driver. Wind is going right to left, as you'll see right there, there's a little aerial shot I found on Google Earth. So, uh, water all down the left, right is just scrubbing trees, under about 2 metres tall, 2 or 3 metres, stuff like that. So I've hit this, um, I couldn't believe it, no range practice time straight up, just gone up there and hit the ball. Nice little fade, um, it's about... Oh, 15 metres to the left of the centre of the fairway. She's zooming into the right. I think she thought it was going to fade a bit more. All right, 134 metres out. Joe from Tasmania said he'd like me to talk more about what I'm doing. So you can probably hear right now, it's blowing a gale into the camera, so I'm knocking down a seven trying to get up. Yeah, guys, I'm just going to cut in and out of commentary right here, mainly because it was so windy, even with the mic on there, it was a lot of wind. So, uh, like I said, knocking down a lesser club, keeping it under the wind. Now, I've kind of... Pulled it a little to the left, however, not too bad, just on the fringe. Obviously, it's puttable because that's what I do. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, just to the right of that cart sign right there, that's where I ended up. All right, guys, so as I said before, knock down 7 iron. As you can see, I'm actually not I'm not too unhappy with the shot in general because I'm actually uh, pin high right there. So, I'm going to put it on. Now I know I have been saying I'm practicing on my chipping here, but this top of lie here, I'm always going to putt this, even if my chipping was great. It's basically, honestly, that lie was probably better than half the greens I've played on around Brisbane sometimes. So I've knocked it inside about two, uh, two and a half feet, straight uphill putt. Uh, I'm relatively happy how this first hole's going, considering I didn't have any really warm up, just a few practice swings got into it. Um, so there we go, first hole par, so happy with that. Yeah, well done. Uh, now we'll look at the uh, overall direction. So right there, there's the T block there, a uh, little uh, air conditioned starters hut, all the other T blocks there. Bunker right there, now I ended up probably 15 past that. And now here's the green side here. So it's relatively nice, there's water on the left, bunker on the right. It's quite an easy, generous first starting hole, I must say, because the fairways are quite wide. But yeah, all in all, great little hole. So here we are. We're going to go on to the second, which is a par five. Now, this was into a vicious wind. So as you can see up the top there, there's a little quick little satellite image of the hole itself. We'll get into that at the end of the hole. But I've hit a nice little cut again, but the wind's blowing right to left, so it's kind of pushed me. So I've bounced back three times, and I've rolled into the bunker. Uh, so right there. Now, what I really want to quickly say is what I love about going to more expensive golf courses is that they give you sheets and sheets of paper and pen positions for the day, where everything is, and I love that. Google Earth is great and, you know, satellite images and stuff, but there's nothing better than an up-to-date little photocopied piece of paper that says what's everything, everything's doing for the day or for the course. Uh, now I've just cut a little, I think this is a six iron, um, uh, obviously as a layup, so I've hit it to about, I think about 115 out, I think. We'll find out. Here we go. Tee shot into the bunker, bunker layup, so I've got 112 metres. I still can't work out the win, but I'm going to try something new. I've been learning off George Ganker's swing tips, GG swing tips. Using a lesser club, try to keep it under the wind. Uh, you look at the flag, it's blown, but there's nothing here. Mm. I'll take that. It's down there. So I'm trying to keep it low. Underneath the wind, yeah, that's it'll be a nightmare when there's no wind. <laughs> and so what I'm left of here is probably about a 15 metre putt. I think that's maybe 40 feet. I'm not too sure how many feet that is. Uh, so yeah, as you can see right there where the grain is, it was a little bit slicker here, and then it slowed up right around here, which is a pity because I'm only about an inch from rolling down even closer. Um, and yeah, well obviously this is just holiday putting. I didn't really read this too well. I've, I've got a cop it on the chin. I've kind of pulled it and as you can see, it's gone off to the left. But you know, one over par over two holes on a relatively difficult course. I mean, I'm off a 9, 10 handicap, can't complain. So I'm not unhappy with that putt, mainly because it was downhill. That putt's about an inch away from rolling that little hole down there. I'm maybe getting inside a foot, but I'm not unhappy. That's a bogey into the wind. I did everything I wanted to do in that hole, 
but seek the par putt, so I can't be too unhappy. So now what I'm going to try and do with a lot of my vlogs is just a bit of a get Chris down on eye, whoever's on camera, to do a bit of a scan back at the hole itself. So you can see right there, it's quite a wide little fairway. However, a lot of these resort courses are bunkered up and there's a lot of trees too. So there's a little bit of rough, but not a lot. But if you go really far right, you're going to be gone. So it is quite a long hole um, that you can see where I ended up there, bunker there, green side. And here we are back here. So you can see right around the edge of the green, it's great to putt on. Uh, so there we go. That's the overall satellite view. So I've ended up there in the bunker. Bunker 6 on, laid up to about there. And then I've kind of hit a low 7. I think it was a 7 into the green and punch it there. And now we're on to the third, which is a par 3. So it was measuring 151 the day, that day. And also I was into the wind. So I was playing it at 170. So I was trying to hit a knockdown shot underneath the trees, as you can see there. Uh, as you can see on the little uh, flyby there, heavily bunkered on the front of the back. Now look at that, I have bladed it a bit, but I was trying to keep it low, so I got away with that one. That was as low as a putter. Uh, rolled out to be about pin high, so as you can see those bunkers there, yeah, they're huge. Here's a little drive Christine did, we just did a little uh, thing. Uh, they actually have the 90 degree rule, so you have to drive and then pull off to where your ball is on the concrete path, which is good, and also keeps the, the fairways nice and, nice and green and flat too. Uh, I had about a 15 foot, I'd say, but a little tricky one. I had to go through some little thick, grabby rough there, but you can see the nearest the pin marker from the comp, so I'm hoping that guy tapped that one in. Ooh, unlucky, honey. So, relatively, I wouldn't say easy hole. Sure, bunkers are a solid, I'd say, two and a half, almost three meters well below. And if you look, if we go to the back one here too, honestly, I'd go and stand in one, but I don't want to rake one or even try to get out. But that is easily two and a half, almost three metres. I reckon if I stood at the base of the bunker, you'd, you'd almost, you'd probably see my hat. But that is just a, oh, I would not want to be in there. So one over par through three holes? Yeah. So there we go guys, so looking back at the hole, there was a tee off right there. As you can see, it's a relatively short little par three, but the bunkers are heavily guard the short shots and the long ones. And because it's a very undulating green, it's a tricky one. So best to be, go for the middle of the green all day. 